Okay, so what's your name and what do you do? I'm Wilfred Kendall, I'm a statistician. And why are you in, in Rio? I'm attending a congress, the World Statistics Congress, which is finishing today. Nice, and how's it going? It went very well, it was very exciting. And what kind of statistics do you work with? Mostly theoretical, I'm interested in randomness. Randomness, how awesome, how come? Tell me about it. This is kind of random, this interview here. You're on the beach, your own business, this is kind of random. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> well, it's... Um, if you want to act in a random situation, it helps if you can calculate how unlikely things are and what are the costs attached to various outcomes, because then it gives you a hint as to the best thing to do. That's the short version. If you've got three weeks, I can give you a longer course. <laughs> how awesome. And let me ask you a little something. How random are things? Well, that just depends, doesn't it? What do you mean by random? Uh, random, I think, it is something that is not really likely to happen. Is that so? There are plenty of things that are quite likely to happen, but are still random, though, aren't they? Like, you might think that something's going to happen, but you're not quite sure if it will. You know, you meet the girl of your dreams, or maybe not, each day. So, there's a whole spectrum of randomness, from nearly certain to very unlikely. And you've got to cover all of that. Um, I guess you're talking about some people, for example, in politics, or city engineering and etc. People think that some events like earthquakes or hurricanes or say, oh my god, that's very unlikely to happen, but it happens. Uh, is that this kind of randomness you're talking about? It's certainly that kind of randomness, but there are other kinds like, you know, how are you going to go home tonight? How are you going to go home tonight? Uh, by car. I hope so. And how long do you think it's going to take you? About 20 minutes. But might it be longer? Surely. How much longer might it be if the traffic's bad? Maybe double the time. So it's somewhere between 20 minutes and 40 minutes. Yes, sir. And every day you're coping with this kind of randomness. You're obviously an expert. I see. Uh, and why did you get interested? I, I think this is a profoundly interested subject. Why did you get interested on this? Specifically. Well, it's a long story, but I was doing math at university, and gradually I found that the kind of maths I could really do, that I really related to, was the maths about uncertainty and randomness. And you know how it is. You're not quite sure what you're going to do in life, but then you find something you're quite good at, and then you do a bit more of it, and so it goes. Uh, I myself, I really like the work. I don't know how well you like them, but of economics, I think they have a few insights on this. Yes, that's my son's favorite book. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, so Stephen Lavitt. He takes the most unlikely things, and then he shows you how considerations of randomness, of, of cost, of the way people act, can really help you understand what's going on. All right, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.